Welcome back to another edition of the Coach's Corner. I'm here with Coach Mark Van Alstein of the cross country team here at UNF. Mark, how you doing? Wonderful. How are you today? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, first of all, we'd like to congratulate the women's side for their 10th, their ranking. They're ranked 10th now in the South region. Could you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, basically, it wasn't totally unexpected. We thought they were that good. Of course, on the day, you have to put it together, and they've done a great job uh, in the last couple races of improving and running as a team. So it's nice. It's a benchmark for the program, but ultimately, we want to go a lot higher. Right, and then on another footnote, um, the women finished first at the Sodexo Stetson Hatter Invitational in DeLand. Can you talk a little bit about that? That was important. I, I, we really had three goals that week. One, of course, was to to win. We always have that as a goal, and we wanted to see the course that conference is going to be run on, and we wanted to continue to run well as a team. So we feel like there's still a little we can do uh, as far as improving the team, the cohesiveness during the race, but with the win and certainly an opportunity to see the course, we felt really good about it, and we're excited for Saturday. Right, and of course on Saturday comes the Atlantic Sun Championships, and how does that win there give maybe them more confidence and expectations start to go up a little bit, don't they? <clears throat> well, let me just say, winning never hurts you. Uh, it, it's great for the confidence. It's great for the sense of accomplishment and the, um, the sense that, yes, what we're doing is working. Um, but what we can't do is rest on our laurels and, and think, hey, we won that one. This next one's going to come easy. It's not. It's going to be a battle. And I feel like there are probably five coaches around the A-Sun that are legitimately telling their teams on the women's side that they have a shot at winning. We're one of them, and we want to make sure we finish the deal. All right. And then talk a little bit about the men because they finished third, and they're, they're not ranked yet, but they're certainly on the come up. Can you talk a little bit about how may, what they need to do to maybe improve? And it's only a matter of time, I'm sure, before they're ranked also. Uh, they finished, I think, seven points behind ETSU, who are ranked 14th in the South region. Now, what people don't know is we had some adversity that day. We have uh, one of our runners actually running with some stones, uh, like uh. kidney stones, uh, was in tremendous pain. Certainly, I don't think you could make a case for that not impacting his performance, and, and he's one of our better runners. So uh, we know there's room for improvement there on the men's side. Again, the team cohesiveness, running as a team during the race, and staying competitive. We're not just out there running against the clock. We're racing other teams. And uh, if they do a good job at that, I think, uh, I think we're, we're going to be well into the top three. Um, in my mind, Belmont has a really good team. But the conference on the whole on the men's side is not as strong as it has been the last few years. And I'm never going to bet against us. OK. And then on this final note, you talk about team cohesiveness. Um, when they're out there and they're competing, do th is there any chance that they feed off each other? Like in other sports, we see people feed off each other's accomplishments. Maybe that um, maybe there's some energy between them. You see one doing well, and you know they want to improve on what they're doing. Well, there absolutely is, and and unbeknownst to a lot of people, there's actually some strategy that goes into it too. It's not you know us mere mortals that are out there running. It's just survive, get to the end. But um, there's definitely some strategy, and there's definitely some feeding off of your teammates. And, uh, you know, when you have six or seven teammates around you, it, it's hard to give up. You can't because you're, you're in it for them. You're fighting for them. And so I uh, continuously remind them that that's what it's about. It's about your teammates and doing it for each other and, and as a team, how much more they can achieve uh, than as a collection of individuals. All right, well, we will certainly be watching this weekend, and we wish you guys all the luck at the Atlantic Sun Co Championships. Thank you. Come on down. All right, Coach Mark Van Alstein of the cross-country team here at UNF. Thank you, Coach.